I'm going to be trying to win Steph Curry as many rings as possible while increasing his weight by 40 pounds at the end of every November for Thanksgiving. His speed, acceleration, and stamina will also go down while this happens. So first of all, I got to make some trades to try and set up this team so that Steph can have the perfect roster to compete with to try and win a ring. I go ahead and make some huge additions as you can see here. We were able to build a roster that was absolutely stacked for the first season with De'Aaron Fox coming off off of the bench and we were doing really well around the end of November but it was time to increase Steph's weight and then as a result of this we went ahead and decreased his stamina speed acceleration and lateral quickness not too much of an effect though for this first year he's still putting up big numbers he's still a 97 overall and we were able to get the first seed we barely made it out of the first round against the Clippers, and our run was over in the second round to the Denver Nuggets, really disappointing as Steph struggled in Game 7. Now, going into this next season, I pretty much kept the roster the same. We have a really good team, and I don't see why we ended up losing. We're at the end of November once again, so his weight's going up to 265, and his speed and acceleration and lateral quickness and stamina are going down once again. But since we struggled last year, I did make a move for Keldon Jones. Johnson, he's on a longer term deal. Also, if you do go on to enjoy this video, I'd really appreciate if you consider subscribing. Anyways, looking at the numbers for this year, even though Steph is up to 265, his numbers are still really good. And we were the first seed again, but we lose in the first round. This game sucks, but I traded Keldon Johnson for Jared Allen to try and make our team better. I traded Bam for Jaron Jackson, and hopefully this can be enough. I also brought back Jared Vanderbilt in free agency. Steph's overall continues to go down, but he's kind of old in this, so that makes sense. I went ahead and brought back Andrew Wiggins. He was here for the champ championship run in real life so maybe that'll help I mean I don't see how we're not winning but now Steph is up to 305 his speed is going down even more his stamina is going down but his numbers are still good I don't know how he's doing this but I mean it's Steph man he's still got the shot right but in the first round we end up losing once again I don't understand this is the Chris Paul challenge no rings challenge man this is tough but I will go ahead and trade Harrison Barnes for some future draft picks and I bring back Clay the Splash Brothers are back, except they're just significantly worse this time, with Steph Curry continuing to decrease in overall, and Clay's a 76 now. This is looking really rough. I feel like our roster should be a contender. They want to put Steph off the bench this year, which I'm just going to allow at this point because, I mean, we're increasing him up to 345. His stamina is going to go down even more. He might need the rest off the bench, and this actually worked. He was the sixth man of the year, and he still averaged almost 20 points per game. This this year we were only the seventh seed despite this roster being amazing on paper but of course this is the year we make it out of the first round and then we somehow advance to the conference finals as the seventh seed but Luka is too good 2k just loves him so we end up losing to Luka in the conference finals this is a big off season we end up bringing pretty much everybody back we're gonna try to run it back once again this year and maybe this time we'll have a different result we're off to a slow start to the season and now Steph is up to max weight, which means I'm going to make his speed, stamina, and lateral quickness, along with the acceleration, all at 25. I also made a trade for Robert Williams to try and improve our roster, and I added DeJounte Murray. Hopefully, this will be enough to help us compete, as I also add Lori Markinen and Herb Jones. Then I trade Jared Allen for Mikhail Bridges and Tobias Harris. This roster looks absolutely stacked. Steph Curry is the 8th man on the team, but he still put up really big numbers despite being the 8th man only playing 23 minutes per game he averaged 19 now we're in the first round against the Dallas Mavericks once again and we're going to a game seven in game seven we end up losing Steph wants to retire and honestly I don't blame him but we're gonna bring him back for one more season as our roster looks kind of worse than it has been Steph's only an 85 I do add Jalen Brown to try and have him carry some more of the scoring load but that's really the only major change I make Steph's the only point guard on this roster and he plays 24 minutes per game and still averages almost 20 and then in the first round we take on the pelicans and we lose 2k hates me happy thanksgiving be sure to like and subscribe